Breaking news time, 13 left until the news at 8 o'clock here on ABC Sunshine Coast. Sheridan is in next, but Spinksy, Anthony Spinks, is in right now uh, to chat about the surfing. Rottnest Island uh, is uh, on day three starts today, Spinksy. Uh, are we in a bit of a holding pattern, waiting to find out how the conditions are looking? Yeah, good morning, Ollie. Yeah, that's correct. There is a bit of a holding pattern. And it's in regards to the swell, it doesn't look very favourable today either to hold the competition. Uh, a little bit more... Uh, a smaller surf and um, it's just rebuilding a more onshore wind. So it is looking best around Thursday and Friday. Uh, then again, we're going to get those stronger winds over the weekend and a possible run maybe Tuesday and Wednesday with it looking better there. But look, that's just my opinion. It's up to the, the guys at WSL to make the call and um, let's hope they can get off to a, a great start again because there's been some fantastic waves being held there at the Rottnest Strickland Bay. Oh, I saw one of the um, the standout waves. Oh, there's a 9.6 with a, a big barrel there. Uh, it's looking like there's been some great conditions and um, uh, there was even a, a pause for a shot too, so it's all kind of happening at Rottnest. Yeah, that was in the heat with Taj Barrow, and unfortunately he's he's knocked out. He won't be going any further, but it was great to see Taj just get out there and put the jersey on again. But, um, yeah, a little shark scare. You've got the fisheries boat out there and guys on skis just monitoring the water and the safety of all surfers, particularly in that uh, kind of, um, uh, that, well, that situation over in WA. And um, But, look, there's waves, and um, there's been some great surfing and some great heats to be held, and particularly with the girls, the Sunshine Coast girls is a Bella Nichols and Keely Andrew, uh, they're in the next round and they're up against, um, well, Isabella is against Bronte, so that's going to be a really great heat to watch. And Keely up against the French woman, uh, Joanne Defay. And Julian's still in there in the round in heat two, uh, next round, up against Aussie's way, Carmichael. That's a 50-50, but my money's on Julian for that one. Yeah, he's got the power. Um, and yeah, look, fingers crossed for um, all of the Sunshine Coast surfers. They've been in some pretty good form, um, Isabella Nichols and uh, the, the, the uh, Sunshine Coast ladies, so that should be uh, a really good one to watch. But I just wanted to go back to Taj Burrow. It's, it's amazing seeing him uh, donning the, the jersey again and getting out. Uh, but interestingly, it seems like he, he's not a fan of competing. I, I saw him, uh, a quote from him basically saying, look, it was fun, good to get in there, but he didn't really want to actually compete against the real athletes and competitors because he's happily retired. And he said he was really unhappy, like, unhappy with the idea of competition these days. Uh, yeah, that was it. Well, he's been off for a couple of years, you know, and he's a free surfer and he loves what he's doing. Other things, uh, obviously, that he had to... Well, I think he was on the tour for, like, 12, 13 years. It was a long time. And, um, yeah, so he's obviously went out to do some damage, but he... In that interview that I saw, he was hanging to get on one of the good lefts, but unfortunately it didn't come through with him, uh, particularly in that heat with Griffin Colapinto, which is a, another guy to uh, watch in the next round. It's going to be a really good heat uh, when he goes up against... Um, oh, who is he up against? <laughs> I don't know who he is, but it's going to be definitely a good heat. But, yeah, Taj, yeah, he was happy to sit back and, and barrack for the local guys, Jacob Wilcox and also um, uh, Kale Walsh, Walsh, who goes up against Gabriel Medina and Heat 9 in the next round. And Jacob actually beat Italo Ferreira in the uh, seeding round at the Margaret Rivers. And they meet yeah. up again in Heat 13, so another good uh, one to watch as well. Was that the heat where Italo went in and jumped on his board after he was knocked out? Oh, no, that happened um, down in uh, That's right, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right, yeah Very yeah. passionate competitor. I love watching him in his heats especially. It's just like collecting waves. How many waves can one person collect? Well, a lot, a lot if you're Italo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's going to be good. Some good waves Fun. there, and it's going to and it opens it up for all the surfers because um, they're not used to this break, so it gives everyone a great advantage. But um, definitely, some airs are being thrown in there. Wild card Stuart Kennedy still up against Geordie Smith in the heat one of the men's, um, and the big big upset in the women's was Tatiana, who took out the Margaret River Pro. Uh, she's gone. So, um, you know, she'll be there biting the nails watching the other girls climb up the ladder. The race for um, the uh, championship jersey on uh, both uh, both women's and men's, it's looking really exciting. Spinksy, thanks so much. Um, so it's kicking off uh, at 9 o'clock. The broadcast will start today, but we're still kind of holding and waiting to see if they'll fire it off. 
Yep, that's correct. So it is on hold and they'll make the decision today, but it looks more uh, appetising for a start to, uh, when, uh, tomorrow and Friday, but we'll see how that goes uh, once they make the call. Thanks, Ollie. Enjoy your day in the waves, mate. You too, Spinksy, and uh, talk to you again tomorrow. Spinksy always there updating us on what's happening in the waves, and thanks to him for all the hard work he does. Looking forward to seeing what's happening in these uh, championship uh, runs as well. It's going to be very, very interesting out there. Steph Gilmore looking for another world title. Can't wait to see how she does anytime she's on a, wa- on, a, on a wave and on a board I'm watching she's fantastic what and the number of people have said that she's their favorite surfer Mick Fanning a couple of weeks ago um, piped up and said that she was his favorite person to watch because of her style yeah can't wait to see if she can uh, pick up another title uh, one last quick song before we head to the news Sheridan is